Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we present to you another prestigious opportunity to benefit from a fully funded scholarship in Saudi Arabia. It is known as King Abdulaziz Scholarship Program. This is a scholarship opportunity for bachelor's degree, master's degree, and a PhD. Note that the King Abdulaziz University in Saudi Arabia was founded in the year 19. 67 in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It was designed by the English architect known as John Elliott. In 2016, it was ranked the top Arab university by Times Higher Education. So to assess the scholarship opportunity, when you click on the link in the description of this video, you gain access to this um, platform you can see on the screen right now. But before we go, uh, proceed to show you the step-by-step -step process of um, applying for this scholarship and getting into it, we would like you to click on the subscription button if you're a new subscriber. Also, smash on the like button and the notification bell icon. Now, the King Abdulaziz scholarship program is a unique one that offers so many students from all over the world the opportunity to study or further their studies in the Arab world. When you get to this platform, you can see the link, apply now link. So when you click on the link, it will open an interface such as this. Now you can apply for Arabic language diploma or undergraduate program. Then if you are interested in the graduate programs, you can apply through this. Graduate program has to do with master's and the PhD programs. So you can see specified here, the graduate program is an advanced stage of study, either in scientific or humanitarian specializations. These studies include higher diploma, master's and PhD degrees. So the faculty of graduate studies requires that applicants obtain a bachelor's degree before applying for this advanced uh, degree program. All right, so I'll show you how to apply for any of this now. If you wish to apply for the Arabic language diploma, you can click on the apply now. Let's open it on a new tab. All right, so for diploma in Arabia, for speakers of other languages, you can follow this guide here. This program basically grants two types of certificates approved by the King Abdulaziz University. The first one is Certificate of Linguistic Preparation for completing the first year courses, while the second is Certificate of General Diploma in Arabic Language. So each of them has their own uh, information. There are two conditions attached to this. First of all, the student's attendance must not be less than 80% of the number of hours of study in each of the courses. And also, the student must pass all the examinations in the courses, of, uh, 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 in each of these courses, and must score no less than 60% in the final grade. So let's proceed and click on Apply Now and Again. Now, it takes you to this... Um, page where you can see apply application scholarship application diploma in Arabic for speakers of other languages. And other languages include English, French, Spanish, German, and all that. So if you are from any of uh, maybe English speaking country or a Francophone country, you can go with this. All right. So this is the page for the Arabic uh, language diploma. Now, if you are not interested for on this, you can go for the undergraduate program by clicking on Apply Now. Under the graduate uh, undergraduate programs, you can see the courses and their faculty. So each course has its own faculty. Under the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, you have these ones here. First of all, you have to exp uh, explore the course uh, courses available here and select the ones that you are interested in. So under the Faculty of Economics and Administration, you have Accounting, Business Admin, and other ones here. You can see this is it. Then under the Faculty of Law, you have one. 
on the faculty of sciences you have these ones here then under the faculty of um, communication and media and there are a whole lot of uh, faculties here so you have to take your time to go through them now there are basic entry requirements expected of you you must be of good conduct as a student you must equally make full commitment to the uh, King Abdul Aziz University concerning their regulations and laws. And you must be medically fit. Then you must also have obtained a secondary school graduation certificate or its equivalent. So there are other things expected of you which you have to take time to study here. Now, when you click on apply now, after going through the entry requirements, it will take you to this page where you see other terms associated with this um, scholarship offer. So you can see external scholarship application procedure. So you must apply through the university's website scholarship or through your the embassy or consulate of uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in your country. So to apply for this scholarship, you must submit your application through any of these two um, offices mentioned. Then note that your information is subject to verification so as to ensure accuracy by the consulate of Saudi Arabia. Also, you are expected to visit the embassy of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in your home country for attestation of those documents. So any of your supporting documents that you uh, want to tender alongside with your application has to be vetted and uh, scrutinized by the embassy. Then the benefits of this scholarship is that you enjoy all the benefits that are provided to the university students like sports activities, university trips, and social cultural activities. You are offered subsidized meals. You are equally offered um, suitable accommodation. Then you will get a two-way ticket and a monthly stipend alongside with two months stipend upon arrival. Then if you are an outstanding student, if you perform if you perform well academically, you will receive some allowance known as distinction allowance and also a three-month stipend upon graduation. All right, so to complete your application, you will first of all have to create an account right here. So you click on create account, enter your email address here and passport number. So right here, you have to enter your email address. So whatever that's your passport number, Remember, it is subject to verification. You have to enter it inside that box and click on register. So note that once you click on register, you can see an application ID has been generated for you. This is it. While the registration has been, uh, you have received a notification in your email that the registration is successful. So I will have to go and check my email now. Okay, so this is my email. So this is the email I've received from them. They have sent me a username and password with which I can log into the portal for application. So this is my username. This is my password. All right, so I will go to the application form and click on login. Now, to be able to log in, you can see that my application ID is here already. I'll have to enter my password, the password that they have been assigned in the email. Okay, so this is the password. So once you click on login, if the password is correct, you'll be taken to this page where you have to fill your personal data. That's your name, nationality, that account of origin, passport number is there already. Then this. You have to specify your gender, expiration date of your passport, date of birth, country of birth. Uh, when you move down, you see the option to fill your 
home address, city, district, marital status, phone number, and so on and so forth. So once you are done filling this, you can then submit your application and you get an email such as this that I've gotten from them that will notify you about the status of your application. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got value. If you have questions and uh, suggestions, you can equally drop it in the comment section below. If you are a new viewer here, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you equally get updates whenever we post new contents. Also, smash on the like button and then turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video. Thank you.